I should watch my step around here. This is no place for you! Get out of that cage right now! It's for your own good! You are being superstitious! Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents! I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection? From what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. What are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents, so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Supidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course. My parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What? What? Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You mustn't free me. These ropes are the only thing between my parents and my wrath. Eros on Earth! Um, uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Alexios. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oi, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supidio. Ah, Supidio. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, he needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Just give me the sword, or I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I... Uh, there's no need to get all heated. Uh, tell you what, I'm drinking wine with someone special tonight, and I'd really like to make a good impression. Uh, but there's a small problem. My spear I is also <clears throat> broken. What a shame. But there are special flowers in the forest beyond Xerxes military fort, planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to, um, reforge, if you know what I mean. Fine, I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean, don't go anywhere.
That should be enough to stoke the blacksmith's flame. Gorgeous, Mistheus. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? Can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But, yes, I have them. Perfect. This will make tonight a night to remember. I'm very happy for you. Now, what you promised? Of course, of course. Um, I was uh, just wondering, uh, since we're here, uh, what if I took the flowers now? Uh, there's a clean spot in my shop where we could... Uh, I'm only here for the sword. I did what you asked. Now hand it over. You break my heart, Mistyos. But I'll make good use of the flowers. Here's the sword, as I promised. I should get this back to Supidio's parents, before he does anything... ...stupidio. <laughs> Mistyos! You've returned! Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods! I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed. And I have two parents. So tell me about this shield. Well, according to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistyos. Bring me back my shield. Only then will my parents be truly safe from my fury. Find the cave. The Time to find this thief. Supidio mentioned a cave beyond the Red Lake. Strange that his parents knew this. They should get the shield back themselves. This must be the cave. Perfect hiding spot for a thief.
afraid of salt. I'm going to kill someone. Patience. We're going to raid that stinking village once and for all, find the ship, and finally get off this salty wasteland. What about that old couple? The ones you stole the shield from? We should slit their throats and take whatever they have left. That family is off limits to you, Malakis. And even if you touch a hair on their heads, I'm going to cut off their hands and make you push up in the salt. There she is. There's my little thief. Should be enough to protect Supidio's parents from his deadly wrath. Mistios! At last! Did you find the shield? I did. Now you can protect yourself from the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh yes. Cut her in half. She won't steal anything from anyone ever again. And what about the blacksmith? He's fine. Could use a cold bath, but he's fine. Thank the gods! Thank you, Mistios. You spared my parents from my wrath. Now, if you would release me. Actually, there's something your mother and I have to tell you. Your parents are... Ahem. <clears throat> Very happy to have such a caring son to protect us. Thank you, Mistios. We're all fine now. Odd family. <laughs> Thank you. 